Now, you know about 3D. The 3D movies made up one out of every five dollars at the box office last year. Now there's 3D gaming with Nintendo's new handheld 3DS. But have you seen 4D? Bloomberg contributor Tabitha Soren is here with a story. Tabitha, uh, last time I saw you was in the back of CBGB's in about 1980-something. Not all the way in the back. What, uh, the beginning, <laughs> the late, late 80s. Uh, what have you been doing since then? Well, I spent a little more time at CBGB's, and then I went to MTV News and NBC. I've had some children, and now I'm a photographer. And, and helping and a contributor Bloomberg West. for Thank Bloomberg, goodness. yes. Tell me about your story. Well, in mathematics, the fourth dimension is an abstract concept that has been studied by philosophers for hundreds of years. But we found an inventor who says 4D is real, and he can help you feel the action. Don't just play. Immerse yourself. Welcome to 4D Entertainment. We all know what 3D is and how it feels, but 4D is that extra element of interactivity and being present in the content. Shariar Afshar is a physics genius turned inventor who says he's transporting players to a new dimension in video games. It feels like an extra sense that you've always known you had, but you never used. That's his pitch, at least. At this game store in New York, Afshar is hovering like an anxious parent. These gamers are some of the first to try his new gear. I'm actually really concentrated right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> he calls this gizmo the Core FX. It's like your old Walkman headset, but the earphones sit flat on your chest and pipe vibrations into your body. Whoa. Seriously, when I first saw it, it was like, you've got to be kidding me, this exists. TJ Aller discovered the Core FX when he saw these brothers take the Guinness World Record for speed on Guitar Hero while wearing it. They said by wearing the Core FX device, it allows them to feel the music as opposed to just hearing it. And so they say that they react differently, they react faster, they react more fluidly. According to Afshar, the Core FX mimics the vibrations of your voice. If something can match that pattern of vibration, the brain thinks it's the old self again. And that's what makes it 4D. I don't know if Immerse will be the creator of 4D. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's a really big claim. But Afshar is famous for making big claims. At Harvard, he was known as the quantum rebel because he said he found a flaw in Einstein's quantum theory. I was really sick for about a month, physically sick, uh, because I knew the consequences. While the scientific community determined if his proposals were correct, he had to find a way to make money. There were kids playing their games in the dorms, and uh, I was in the middle of a fight with my colleagues on my experiment, and uh, I couldn't concentrate on my work. He dreamed of finding a way for the kids next door to feel the thrill of their games without the pounding noise. Ask yourself, what if you could feel all this with me? Changes our relationship a bit, doesn't it? I started experimenting with various different uh, positions on the anatomy. One of the areas there, just behind your ears, on your neck, and as you can see, it's very primitive stuff. Um, that's a balloon, actually. And then uh, I moved on to this, which is the full unit that actually works. It worked well, but then it gives you a splitting headache. <laughs> After six years, the Core FX is ready for prime time, and these gamers have their verdict. I feel everything. Oh, it's sick. You can buy the Core FX in game stores soon, and not surprisingly, Afshar has big dreams for the future. We are poised to dominate this field uh, in all aspects of it, including movies and games, all entertainment in general. That is really cool. I can see myself wearing one of those. What, what, uh, what would the people be using this for? What other industries besides games? Well, what they'd like to have it attached to next is movies. And in that way, what we would, they would do with movies is tailor the sensations that you feel to the narrative. So with 3D movies, you've got a 3D feeling, but beyond, even beyond entertainment, are there applications for this? Well, they think it could be used as a medical tool to help autistic children. It would uh, mimic the sound of their own voice and vibrate it into their body, and they're hoping that would promote some sort of empathy with what they're looking at on the screen. Wow. But that's in very early stages. That's very cool. Uh, Tabitha Soren, so I'm glad you could join us, and good to see you again. It's been, like I said, you know, and it's quieter in here than CBGB, yes, so we got that nice going for Yes, it's nice to see us. that you made something of yourself. Uh, you're doing all right yourself.